Uh, hello, my name is Jung Hyun and I'm from South Korea. I have lived more than uh, 50 countries in the world and I learned around 16 languages totally. Um, today, we're going to learn how to introduce yourself. Okay, to start with, uh, I want to ask you what is the most popular and widely used language in the world? It's Chinese. Some people know Chinese as Mandarin, but actually the word Mandarin means knows many people or there are many neighbors. So the more correct, correct, uh, correct meaning of, of the language is Chinese. Some people know there was Mandarin and Cantonese, but actually in China it's unified as Putonghua. Um, in China, the common questions to ask what is your name? Ask your name. Ask someone's name is Ninjo Sema Mingzi. Okay, so Ninjo Sema Mingzi means how do you call? How are you called? So, and the answer of this is Wo Zhao Wei. Actually, my name is Zhang Hian Yao, but actually the uh, Chinese pronunciation of we is Yao is like we. So, and some of the like um, uh, textbook, texting material, learning materials, uh, mentioning about Lin Kishing, that means what is your name, but actually it's not really used that much. Um, the second widely used language in the world is Espanol. So in es Espanol, more like a polite answer, uh, uh, questions in asking your name is Como se llama? And people can say, Me llamo yo. Uh, my name is yo, actually, in, 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 in Espanol, there's no exactly same pronunciation, so I usually call it yo. But in Spanish, the word yo means I. So, and if I say, Yo me llamo yo, people understand, my name is I. So they make the question again. Uh, who said this? And I say, yo. And finally, I spell the name, Igleta E-O. And finally, they understand my name correctly. And the second widely used language is English. Probably you might have, most of the listeners of this video would already understand how to speak, how to, uh, how to speak English. So I don't want to make a deep ex uh, further explanation on this. And the fourth widely used language was Hindi. Hindi also, India has almost like a, um, over a billion people in, the, in their territory, but most of them speak Hindi and Tamir. So, um, the word for what is your name is Apka Nam Kahe. So, Apka is what? Nam is like a name. Yahe is who is. And the answer of this is Mera Nam Yohe. The word Mera is my and name is Nam. And is Yo. And what I'm interested in interesting is the, the word mentioning the name is pretty similar in many countries, like the name and Namae. Like it's in Japanese, Siapa uh, Nama in Indonesia, so many languages, the word for name is pretty similar. And the other half, the other like, uh, the other how uh, much, much person of India speak Tamir, but one of the interesting is the Tamir language is so similar with Korean, especially like uh, Apa. Is like a father or a ma mother and like a ani, like a older sisters, and uh, uh, one of the Korean historical books says uh, some of the princess in India was immigrated to the Silla Dynasty many many years ago, a few thousands of years ago. Um, yeah, it's actually almost one hundred, like uh, five hundred years or something. And uh, the fifth widely used language is Arabic, but I'm not really uh, good at Arabic, so I will skip this part. And the sixth widely used language in the world is Portuguesa. 
The Portuguesa is pretty similar with Espanol, but they don't pronounce L in their languages. So they can ask, uh, que un nome? The answer is, meu nome é e yo. So it's pretty similar with Espanol, but they don't pronounce um, L sounds in their name. Or more polite question for this is, como você chama? Is how do you call your name? Okay, uh, next. Uh, the Russian languages are used by 150 persons in the world and the answer for your question, your name is Kakubasavut. So Kaku is how and Bas is you, Zavut is called. So how your name is called. And the answer for Kakubasavut is Mina Zavut. Jonghyun and it means please call me Jonghyun okay uh, coming up next was Japanese Japanese is used by over 100,000 people in the in Japan uh, in Japan there are some ways of like uh, respecting somebody else uh, name or like a, they even respect some object also so in in doing so they put the words O so what is your name in Japanese is Onamaya Nandeska and the answer is Watashi wa Yo desu uh, my name is Yo in Korean but actually in Japanese it, it was pronounced as Yo and and actually in Japan there was over 16 different ways of uh, uh, saying I myself. So I can say if I'm boy, I can also say Bokwa Yodes in Shorui. Okay, next was German. In German, uh, the greetings, oh no, the questions for asking what is your name, someone's name is V Heisen Z. And if it's like uh, uh, informal, you can say "be heist do." And the answer for this question is "e heist Yunghen." Uh, actually, my name is Jonghyun, but I uh, in German actually they're not exactly same pronunciations, uh, pronunciations. So I usually say Yunghen. It's pretty similar, anyhow. Uh, another widely used language is Indonesians. In Indonesia, there are over uh, two hundred sixty million people in there. And an Asian country named Malaysia, there are around 30 million people, and both of them speak Bahasa Malayu or Bahasa Indonesia. Those two languages are pretty similar. In Indonesia, uh, the question for asking someone's name is Siapa Nama Anda? The word Siapa is what, and Nama is name, and Anda is your. And I already uh, explained the word for name is pretty similar in many countries like Japan and Indonesia and and in English. Um, and the, the answer for uh, my name is is Nama Saya Yo. Uh, Nama is name and Saya is my and Yo is my real name. Uh, just like uh, Spanish, um, Portuguese, and Indonesia, if there's a noun, usually adjective is coming after noun. So in Spain, instead of people say uh, uh, casa mia, that means house of mine. So uh, adjective is coming after noun. Another widely uh, used language and a language which are getting which is getting some popularity is Korean. Korean is used by over like uh, 86 million people in the world. It's widely used in North Korea and South Korea and some of the part in China. In Korean uh, it's pretty high like society so there are like um, um, there are some respected ways of saying there are some pride ways and there are some impride ways also. 
in polite ways to question for asking someone's name is 당신의 이름은 무엇입니까? And the answer for this is 제 이름은 여정현입니다. And there are some implied ways of asking someone's name. That is, uh, 네 이름은 뭐니? And the, the answer is 내 이름은 여정현이야. Yeah, like this way. Um, another popular and potential language in the world is French. Um, in French, there was also some polite ways of asking someone's name, and there was there is some in polite ways of asking someone's name. So in polite ways, uh, you may say "Comment vous appelez-vous?" and uh, in polite ways might be "Comment tu m'appelles?" Um, and the answer is Okay, my name is Yo. Actually, yeah, them is this way. Um, and the last language that we are going to learn today is Italiano. Italiano is pretty elegant. It's the most elegant language in the world. And Italiano the question for asking someone's name is come ti chiamo? And the answer for this is mi chiamo yo. Okay, uh, this is the end. Um, uh, later day, uh, in these days, uh, the, the movie named uh, Bohemian Rhapsody get uh, some award in the Oscar. Um, in the, uh, and the language for Bohemian is like a, um, it's like Czech. And the uh, question for asking someone's name is Yak se manish. And there's it's more like in private ways. And there's some private way is Yak uh, se manet. And the answer for this is, you can say to some yo, I'm I'm yo. So it's pretty similar with uh, Russian language, but there are some diversities in there. Okay, thanks for watching today's video and I hope to see you next time. Okay, take care. And please do not forget to press uh, the subscribe button and like button. Thanks for watching.